it up. He drives and draws the foul on Tyrell. And Kalala will go back to the line for his fifth and sixth attempt here in the opening half. And right on cue, Kalala again, just being aggressive. Attacking the rim and you're going to get the call. And we've seen this several times throughout this game already. He's really kept this club in it. He and along with Donaldson on the defensive end, Chavan offensively, offensively has been a non-factor. Miller is starting to get the, his shot to fall. But for the most part, it's been all Kalala. He's, he's certainly been leading the way offensively as Donaldson has been defensively drawn those charges against the Golden Shield. In the absence of Chavan, as Kalala connects on his second attempt from the line, the absence of... My name is Patrick Alala. I'm a guard for the Loyalist Lancers, and I'm a CDS dub. This is my second game. Patrick Kalala working the ball on the outside. Tight defense played by Kalala. Kalala open from downtown. My name is Kevin Wusu. I'm a guard for the Loyalist Lancers, number 13. My program is electrical engineering. This is my first year, rookie season. Nah, I'm a shy guy, so I get nervous when sometimes the ball is in my hands. I won't lie to you guys. But it's getting better over at the games and practices and stuff like that. By next year, it'll be a different story. All right. Calvin Chevons. I'm a guard slash forward. It's my third year at Lotus College and I'm taking uh, public relations. Uh, my name is Cameron Cerro. I'm a point guard. Currently, this is my first semester. Just came in January, taking general arts. Us knocking off um, Algonquin was a big win for us. An Algonquin game that the team, whole team played hard. They're a really, really strong team, especially with uh, how deep their bench is. Like we only have probably maybe nine guys, ten guys, and then our starters are always playing. So um, it's kind of nice to have our bench come on and um, actually put in the same amount of work that the starters are putting in. Beating George Brown here after they beat us at the tournament. When we went up to George Brown, I'd have to say the George Brown game because that was my first win ever, first college win. And it was, it was at home. I didn't score much, but I felt like that was kind of one of the best games that I played. And my family came to watch, so it was pretty big for me, me and my team. And then going to George Brown and beating them there too, because it's home. Rebounding the ball and pushing it ahead or rebounding it and slowing it down and running a play. Like it was just a lot better than, um, I guess, like our first semester. When we beat Cambrian, and Sudbury in overtime. We were down and we came back and we won the game. Like in the fourth quarter with like a minute left, it seemed we were down so, so much, I don't even know how much it was, but it seemed like we were going to lose and we overcame that. It made me wake up and realize you know, how good our team could be if we execute properly, you know, run the plays and play with pride and with our heart and determination. There were a lot of reasons for us not to win that game, and we still overcame everything. 
Uh, my favorite player is Chris Paul. Kevin Durant. Yeah. No doubt about it. Austin Rivers. Deron Williams. My New Jersey Nets. Oh, definitely Kobe Bryant. Black Mambo. Sniper. The God of all God for ball. That's my favorite. Yeah. I guess the traveling. That was my team highlight. It was fun, like bonding with the team and stuff like that, and then enjoying quality time with them. I guess that's so far. That's my highlight this year. So it's kind of rough because, like, I'm the rookie. They punish me a lot. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> we always play this game. It's called, um, like, basically hot dummy. You can't mess up or do anything stupid in front of somebody because if you do, then you're going to get slapped. Not in your face, but just like, you know, around like your shoulder, arm or whatever. But it's kind of funny because everybody runs from it. Nobody wants to be caught by it. But um, I kind of find that's pretty funny as like a team wise. Everybody always catches somebody. Um, I'm a guard slash forward. Uh, it's my third year at Loyalist College and uh, the next one. They got me. <laughs> every day, every day is fun. It's funny, laugh, <laughs> cry, everything. Sad, joy. It's all, it's all around. Oh, I said Krabby Joe's and bourbon. That's been the highlight of my year. That 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 thing kept me alive. I was, I don't care what these guys say behind me. Like that kept me alive. That's pretty much it. Don't laugh. I don't care. Enough to get it done for the Lancers. So they're going to have to find ways to score. Whether whether that falls on Shreven, you know, um, that's going to have to fall, fall on Damone. Your leaders, your veterans, who have got it done all season long for you, uh, have really struggled here in the first half. So, you know, he's got to instill some confidence. Those just for jump shot. Here's Kalala for Loyalist, watched by Hessek on the outside, kicks it out, Donaldson, pump fake around Richie. Nice bounce pass back to Kalala, off the glass, can't finish, cleans up his own rebound, can't get the put back. But Kalala draws the arm, nice hustle there from number 33 in white. And really Kalala, he's the only one attacking the rim. Uh, he, this will be his seventh and eighth uh, attempt from the free throw line. And he seems to understand what we're trying to preach here anyways, and that's to attack the rim and slow the pace of this game down. And, and, and get some freebies, uh, but everybody else seems pretty content settling for that three-point shot. Well, this is his first of two attempts from the line. Interesting to note. Loyalist will run this thing down and they'll pick up their sixth win of the season. It's a 70 56 victory for the Lancers. A big win for the home side. As they